Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a few days off from my normal work, so I'm just going to take a few days out to organise my Brickling store. Uh, I've got a couple of orders ready to go off to the post office. Uh, this is my workstation, which is a complete mess at the moment, so I need to get that tidied up and organised and cleared if possible. Uh, a lot of this is sorted out, read right into um, separate parts, ready to go in as parted out into the store. Um, I've got a few helmet sets to go in, um, and that's another, I think that was a Christmas wreath, that's ready to get uh, added onto the inventory. Um, if I can, I'll get some of those minifigures done as well, and hopefully clear that whole area, ready to uh, get parting out some more sets. So for today though, first off, um, I've got two orders to get done, um, 53 lots, 348 items, so I am going to get into that now. Right, so I've got that order all picked out. Um, the A order was just all used parts, B is used parts here, and then new, new parts here. I'm just going to get them packed up. And then I will take those and the other two parcels off to the path, uh, post office and get them posted. I just thought I'd show you this. Seeing as A had all uh, used parts, I put them in one bag. And what I do is I reuse the other, um, reuse the plastic bags that come with the sets when I part them out. Uh, and then. That way it's easy enough just to pop that into a bubble mailer and away it goes. Right now order B um, has paid for large letter which in Australia is up to pretty much A4 uh, uh, with a width of 20 mil. So what I'll do for this one is put it into the largest um, box package that I have because um, Otherwise, if I use a bubble mailer, uh, which I obviously could do, I use one of those, I would literally have to um, pack, stack all of these like in a bag or lots of separate bags to try and get them to fit into the bubble mailer without doubling over um, and exceeding that 20 mil uh, limit for the letter post, which is the only annoying thing um, with the cheaper postage option is it probably does take me uh, a lot longer to actually do. So what I'll do using the larger one, it allows me to pop the used in a, a bag and the new in a smaller bag and that will still fit in. I'll uh, put those together and I'll just show you what I mean. All right, so as you can see, I've put these in a larger uh, plastic bag and then I can put that straight into this packing envelope. Give it a shake so that they're all as flat as they can be. That just slides straight in. And then the newer parts, there's not as many of those, so they can just slide in the top there. And then that's that whole um, order put away in you know, a couple of minutes, rather than if I tried to get it into a pub, uh, bubble mailer, it would probably take me 10-15 minutes, so definitely a time saver. All right, there we have it. Within a couple of minutes, that's all packed up and ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to shoot off down to the post office while it's nice and quiet there before lunchtime. Uh, and then I can come back and get sorting out on uh, this mess. All right, so this is the Christmas wreath, which has now all been um, separated. And then what I do is use a uh, brick store uh, to work out um, if I have any of the pieces and then I just use this as the count um, so I'll just go ahead and pick all of those pieces um, I'll pull this up onto the screen and uh, just show you what I do to uh, find out if I have any parts in the drawers already all right, so this is the Christmas wreath, um, which was all separated, ready to go. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll use uh, Brick Store and Brick Freedom to part the set out. So I will count the pieces I have in front of me here, 
add them or check them against the amount that there should be. Uh, and then I will run that through Brick Freedom, which will tell me where I need uh, new drawers or where I've already got the items in there already. So I'll just uh, run that through. I'll put it up on the screen if I can, just to show you what I mean. All right, so this is the set up on uh, Brick Store. What I do is select all and then save as just saves to my downloads and then what I do is go over to Brick Freedom and in there you can go to Brick Stock Merge choose that file that we just saved upload that then we download the merged document and then I open that up and it will open up a new page in a brick store And as you can see then in the remarks, it has got some in there already. And then what I'm gonna do is um, as I go through these, I'll consolidate them so that they're in one drawer. And then these ones that I don't have at all, uh, I'll obviously assign them a new drawer and get them put away. So uh, I'll check back with you once I've done all those because there's quite a few here that has no remarks and then obviously fair few here that have got several uh, so I need to try and sort them out and uh, get them consolidated these ended up being the only new drawers that I uh, used so I'm just going to pop those away it's pretty easy what I normally do is use any half drawers and then if I've used up all of the half drawers then I'll go to the, the full empty ones. I don't have too many left at the moment um, as you can see there's a few gaps which I'm just filling in now but then um, normally the used I have starting off at U, U001 because um, I've had so many newer used pieces to put in I've basically moved all of my newer ones uh, new pieces that are normally in the D's I've moved all of them out of here these ones and these ones and just consolidated it into the rest of my new drawers which to be honest has been a little bit of a pain because I had uh, managed to get to the point where I only kind of had like one part in a drawer um, like that which kind of makes it easier for picking um, but to make space for all of the used parts that I've been adding um, I had to basically just um, con not consolidate well I guess consolidate the drawers again so that I've got more more drawers like this now that's ha it's got sort of one or two odd pieces in um, when I go or when we move to somewhere that's got a little bit more space um, then it will be better because I can uh, kind of get the used back into the used section and then um, make the uh, the drawers back to just having a few pieces in. All right, so that's all put away. So I will now get to clearing the rest of these trays up and uh, get rid of those. 50 minutes later, um, all of the 
parts have all been put away and some consolidation has been done so I again just need to select all of these set to the price guide which I always do as the last six month sales average and then I also round it to two decimals um, and there you can then see there's 64.98 and that can then be um, exported as a BrickLink mass upload that basically puts it into the clipboard I can then paste it into here and verify and then you can see all the parts I've just done are all uh, placed in there and then I just upload that file so it's 464 items um, because I'm going to part some other bits out I won't send out notifications but when I've done I normally send out a um, wanted list notification so that goes off to anyone that's got their um, wanted list completed and if there's any bits that I've just added that they they need um, that helps them to know that I've got them available all right so I'm just going to finish up with that I can then delete this so I don't need that anymore delete the original and then I'm good to go with another one right so I managed to clear a lot of this desk although I've now replaced it with other things but I've parted out the hydro stomp up um, I'm probably not going to put that on the system as yet because um, I noticed a lot of the parts uh, are the same as what was in the wreath um, and I'm not sure how up to date the inventory will be using Brick Freedom because it does say about leaving 24 hours. So I'm just going to leave that till tomorrow. Uh, I cleared out a couple of these uh, kind of egg box trays and they're done. Um, so I was just going to do some of these mini figures. I did a load of the DC ones, they're all in. Um, now I know with some of these I was having trouble. Um, working out which Iron Man it was because there's lots of different ones um, and I did come across a, an app that uh, called Brick Monkey uh, I'll just show you that so you can scan the torso uh, and then it tells you basically what the minifigure is uh, and it has the ID there so then I can click on the brick link see that that's the same torso and then it will show me the minifigures that it's in uh, so that one I think there it's got the same legs and that gives me all the ID and I can then that add that straight into my inventory so I'm going to use this app um, with the remainder of the sets, which I'm not sure where they came from, and uh, get those added in. All right, I think this will be a final update for day one. So I've cleared the tray there of the minifigures and just about to upload those. Um, so I'll just do that, and that is now going to add... Uh, 71 items, 69 lots. I'll just have a quick look at the new inventory. Uh, so we're now sitting at 134,336 items, 9,921 lots. So I'm very, very close now to reaching my first goal of 10,000 lots. So hopefully. I'll be able to do that very soon. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow when I'm going to continue uh, clearing out this area. And good morning. Um, back to day two in the uh, Lego store. So you can see uh, last night I did pop this um, world map up here, which I finished uh, about a week or two ago. 
Um, so I did move a lot of this stuff, so that's just kind of, uh, all the stuff I went through yesterday I popped up into a pile. Um, and then I've just got some orders to pick today. Uh, so I've got three orders on Bricklink. And I've also got uh, just the one order on Brick Owl. So I'm going to get those picked. Right, that's all those orders picked. So I've got one to go out parcel. One is express and note on there saying that it's missing parts for someone's mock, so that's good. And the last one is a large letter, so I'm just get those packaged up. I just thought I'd show you this is the large letter that I've got ready. Um, you might remember earlier I just said about uh, the fact that you have to keep it under 20 mil um, to fit in the package. This is what I do. I put them in these smaller bags and then tape them together so that when they're you know, going through the post, they shouldn't bunch up um, and shouldn't cost, cause any additional costings to the uh, customer. So uh, I'll go ahead and chuck those in there. All right, so those orders are packed up and ready to go. I've only got one more job to do in the Lego room today, and that's going to be it for me. Um, we're heading down to a storage unit because uh, I have got a lot of boxed uh, Lego, as you can see on the shelves. Um, I do have it all around here as well, along the bottom. And I just need to make a bit more room for the sets that are getting parted out. Um, this cupboard is completely full to the point where you can't actually take any sets out without pulling everything out. So um, off to the storage unit, we'll empty all of that out. That will give me some more room. And then... Um, I'll do any orders or whatever I get in from today and overnight tomorrow. Uh, so I'll catch you then. Good morning. Um, just getting ready to do um, the orders for the day. I have got three on Brick Owl. And I think it was just the one. Yep, just the one on Bricklink. Uh, I did go to the storage unit yesterday, which I was going to film, but. Um, I found out that it was actually um, in complete darkness. There was no light in there, so I couldn't film anything. So I'll be going back there uh, this week to take all the Lego sets. So I'll um, let you see what, what was going on there. Uh, I'm going to get these orders ready. And that's probably all I will do today in the, uh, the store. Um, got lots of other stuff going on today. And it's going to be a hot one. It's about 34 degrees, so too hot to be... Uh, doing too much work. All right, I shall show you when that's all packed. Here we go, all packed up, um, and all of them are parcel deliveries, so that's gonna make it a bit easier today. Um, this one I had a nightmare with, but I couldn't find these bits, so it ended up taking me about half an hour just to find them, they were in the wrong drawer. Uh, the rest of it was all pretty straightforward. This is a nice order, all just minifigs. I should get it packed up and we'll be good to go. Right, that's the four orders packed and ready to go out. Uh, whilst I was doing those, I did get another two orders, but I'm probably going to hold off doing those until probably tonight, see if I've got any more, and then I'll do a last uh, pick before uh, tonight and ready for the week. 